you swear to speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so have you not? I do. Good morning, ma'am. Would you state your name for the record? Crystal Robinson. And you are a superintendent of police in the Guyana Police Force? Yes, ma'am. And your regimental number is 15395? Yes, ma'am. And you are currently the head of the Community Relations Department? Yes, ma'am. Now, you have given a statement in this matter, in this inquiry? Yes, ma'am. Which you signed and initialed? Yes, ma'am. And if you see it again, will you be able to identify it? Yes, ma'am. I'm asking that the document be shown to the witness. Do you recall March 2020? Yes, ma'am. Were you then the divisional commander for Region 2? Yes, ma'am. Now, was there a WhatsApp group formed for regional commanders? Yes, ma'am. And can you tell us who created the group? Or which division in the police service created the group? Well, it ought to be the IT created that group, but I don't know individual who created it. Coming in from the IT office. Sure. And apart from commanders, did the group also include the commission of police? Yes, ma'am. And the deputy commissioners of police for operations and administration? Yes, ma'am. Did it also include divisional commanders or branch commanders? Yes, ma'am. Now, is it correct to say that you use this group on election day, this WhatsApp group? Yes, ma'am. And was this because the high frequency and the very high frequency systems were not functioning properly at the time? Yes, ma'am. So for your division, you were using the WhatsApp group to communicate all the material that you normally share uh, with other commanders, correct? Yes, ma'am. On that day, were you, are you able to tell us whether you saw the commander for Region 4 as being active on that group? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Now, in paragraph 4 of your statement, you set out what election information is required to be sent on election day from the ranks to commanders and by commanders to the ranks, correct? Yes, ma'am. And this was not the first time you were working for a general election? No, ma'am. Now, uh, prior to there being things like WhatsApp groups and so on, would the ranks at the close of the count at the polling station be required to do anything? Yes, ma'am. Could you tell us what? At the close of poll, the rank is required to join the last person at the queue, give a head count of how many persons leave the vote, they will close the door, 
and until the last person votes. When I finish, the persons there to return up, so do the tally. Mm -hmm. At the end of it, it place a statement of poll outside of the building, so the public would know that voting is finished at that building. The ranks now will take the information from there and send it to me, the divisional commander, and I'll send it through the WhatsApp group. And the purpose of sending that information initially before WhatsApp, it would be recorded in the pocket book of the ranks yes, the there. Book of the ranks. But for the 2020 election, this was sent by photograph? Yes, you could either take a picture of it or you could put it in your pocket book and send it to WhatsApp. Sure. And this was, as you have said in your paragraph 5, to confirm that the count was finished. Yes, the count was finished and that the statement of poll had been posted up outside the polling station as yes. required. Yes, ma'am. Now, after, well, at the end of election day, did that WhatsApp group continue to be live? No, ma'am. Could you tell us what happened? Well, the group was subsequently deleted. And was that also done by the communications division? Well, I don't know who deleted the group. But the commanders have the authority to delete it? No, ma'am. Thank you. These are my questions for this group. One question. If I could do a paragraph four. Yes, sir. That is where you said that all election information was sent by an EDA WhatsApp. This would include time, polls, open. If there were any incidents, the ranks who were on duty at each polling station, and whether there were still people in line at the time for the closing of polls. Now, could you tell me or tell us from whom did this information emanate? And this is what was required. Well, it's a norm when it's election. Sure. It's a norm when it's ever is general election, general and regional election. When the ranks go to the polling station, they reach there about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. When they reach there, they would send the information to us what time the polling place opened. Yeah, but somebody had just to give the ranks directed that when you get to the polling station, you must send information to us. I'm trying to find out who would that person have been. That person would be the commissioner because the information has to be done to them. So the commissioner would have been the person setting out what is required to be sent to the commanders. Yes, sir. Thank you. The, the commissioner of police was one of the persons in the WhatsApp group chat? Yes, sir. So when a statement of poll, the photograph of a statement of poll is sent via the group chat, he would see it. Yes, sir. He would be aware that it, it was received for whatever particular polling district or polling station. Yes, sir. Thank you. May I ask that this witness be yes. relieved? Thank you very much, Superintendent. You're welcome. You're relieved for the Thank you. If I may just have one second, Commissioners, we just check to see whether there was anyone else here in answer to the summonses. I think the last word that I had is there was some difficulty in service. So I understand there's nobody else outside with me. This brings us to the end of the hearing for today. We resume on Monday next at 9 a.m. Thanks a lot. Thank you.